In order to address the environmental crisis, we are going to have to spend some time fixing the democracy crisis <laughs> because big money has so much influence now. Our democracy has been hacked. Large contributors uh, call the shots. Have you ever thought about running for office again? Uh, I am a, I, I've used this line before, so forgive me, but I am a recovering politician. And the longer I go without a relapse, the, the less likely one becomes. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to say, probably do sort of three buckets of stuff. Right. So there's... Is one of them climate? Yes. Climate, <laughs> yes. One of them's climate. One of them sort of broadly like how politics are different now than they were, say, 15 years ago. Sure. Citizens United, the meet, I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts okay. on that. Yep. And then some 2016 stuff. Okay. Well, I'm not going to. You I'm can decline. Gonna, I know you're not going to. I'm not going to commit news. Yes, no. I know. But I'll try to get you to. Okay. <laughs> but we will talk about climate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to feed the beast, Mr. Vice President. Sometimes it seems to me that the climate crisis is simply not getting the kind of coverage in the media that it should. Uh, you have a Republican Party right now, it, it, historically large field, right? Mm -hmm. There's no one on climate there, yeah, in, in the entire it? lineup. Yeah. Since when did the United States uh, abandon its traditional world leadership role, especially at a time when just this past week, uh, the president of China says, OK, we're going to adopt a cap and trade program and we're reducing our CO2 emissions and we want to create jobs in solar and wind and efficiency. This is the, the most serious global challenge we, we've ever faced. No other country can play the role that the U.S. can play.